An introduction to O&M Profiler. After logging into the system, you are then taken into this area here, which is known as our home screen. Now from here, you can access the main areas of the system via these links on the left hand side. Now if you take your mouse and hover over these links, it does tell you exactly what you can do in each area. So if you're ever unsure of where to start, what to do, take your mouse, hover over the different areas and hopefully that will point you in the right direction. But before we look at these links any closer, I just want to draw your attention to this taskbar that we've got at the top here, this blue and green taskbar. Now what will happen with this taskbar is it will stay present throughout every area of the system that you access and you'll see a series of buttons appearing in your taskbar. Now these buttons will represent tasks that you can carry out for the area of the system that you're working on at the time. So if you find you're in an area and you're thinking to yourself that you'd like to be able to do a particular task, have a little glance at your taskbar and there might just be a button sitting there to that effect. But you've also got these three buttons in the top right hand corner. We've got messages, options and help. These are always available no matter what area of the system you go in. So I'll just explain what each of these does. So in the far top right then you've got your help button. If you're ever struggling at any point throughout the system, click on help and in here you'll get access to things like a user guide. You've got some frequently asked questions there a link to the training area of our website and most importantly we've got contact methods. These are the details for our dedicated technical support team. If you ever have any queries or are struggling to carry out any particular task on the system, give them a call. You've then got options in the top right hand corner. Now, Options enables you to alter the setup of your system, making it more bespoke to your requirements. Now you'll find that a lot of the options on the system have been automatically ticked, but it's just a case of going through, ticking and unticking all the various options until you're happy with how your system is set up. As an example of the different things you can change, if we head to colours, you can change your system colours if you want. Looking at our blue and green taskbar, we can change those colours. That might be quite useful if you use the system in front of your clients and you'd like the system to reflect your corporate colours. Another common use would be to change the colour of our report sidebar. It automatically defaults to this blue, but if you use the drop down, you can select several different colours to choose from. In fact, if you have your own company website or corporate literature, whoever designed that website or literature will have used a custom colour code or what's sometimes referred to as a hex code. If you enter the hex code in here, we will then find the exact same colour to match on your reports. But once you've made all your changes and options, you just click on OK and the system will automatically refresh itself to reflect the changes that you've made. The last button in the top right corner here is messages. Now, as you navigate your way around the system, you'll receive messages with hints and tips and instructions as to what you can do in that area. And when you've gone into a brand new area, an area you've never been in before, the message will automatically pop up. Now, once you've read that message, you can just close the message down by clicking on the little X in the top right hand corner. And what that means is messages will no longer pop up in that area unless we've got anything new to tell you about there. So if we add any new features or enhancements to that area, a message will pop up to notify you of those changes. Now the system is a tab based system. You see this tab heading at the top with the word home in it. As and when you open up any new area of the system, it will open up in a new tab heading along the top. Now that will allow you to work on several different areas of the system at the same time. You don't have to close down an area in order to open up a new area. 
Now just to further emphasise the tab headings and give you a bit of an example, what I'm going to do is click on research and then open up the fund research area. Now that opens up in a new tab heading and the tab that you're working on at the time will be in colour. All of the other tab headings that you have open will then turn to grey. But if you want to go back to any of the ones you've got open, you just click on them. So if I want to go back to home, I'll click on home. If I want to go back to Fund Search, I can click on Fund Search. If I want to close any of the headings down that I'm finished with, I just click on the little X there to the right hand side of the heading. So back in the home screen, two of the most common links on the left hand side are research and clients and this is where the majority of the tasks that the system can carry out are stored. So under research, you can carry out research on lots of things such as funds, portfolios, etc. And within clients, what you can do is you can create clients in here, you can then create client portfolios, run reports for your clients, but most importantly, you can run quotes for your clients such as pension switching. But remember, if you ever are unsure, take your mouse, hover over any of the links and it will confirm what's available. Thanks for listening.